truly astonishing. I didn't realize that that was your superpower. <laughs> no, you do. Dude, I roll my eyes every time you do the fucking giant drama. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, we'll get some into it. Then you, but then as I'm rolling my eyes, I'm like, God, you're the worst. What? what I, don't, I can't. You know, honestly, it was so stupid what you just said. And again, <laughs> this was back to the whole that sassy bitch thing you did the other episode. No, no, that was way worse. What did you just say now about it? I said, did all for you. It was all for you. Yeah, what the? F- what is this new character arc you found? I don't really developing into my own. Like really really late show. into the series. <laughs> yep. Fucking. You're such an asshole. It's like, <laughs> why am I an asshole, dude? I don't have my phone in here, bro. How am I going to start without my phone here? Well, problem. then we're screwed because the longer it's taking me to think about what I wanted to say, I'm yeah. thinking it's just going to be I was, thinking, I, was thinking, I was thinking that outside earlier, too. It's fucking so annoying when you have a thought you were to talk about, and then the second you have a thought, it's like, well, now I've already had it. Now it's just now it's not, it's not even genuine anymore. Now it's even the fucking point. Exactly. That's the problem. It only, it's only cool when it's happening on the fly. If you go into it thinking about we it, it's not real. You need to hire a fucking film crew to follow us around and document Damn, us. awesome. And... Fuck the podcast. The podcast. Everyone has a podcast. Why? You know what? Everyone has a. This is, this is actually kind of funny. You know, everyone has a podcast now, mm. right? Mm. Which means they're not cool anymore. But think about <laughs> like two thousands when everyone was trying to have a reality show. Uh-huh. And now no one has reality shows. Not the only reality shows there are anymore. Like the fucking like Lo- Love Island, and that's it. There's no what. Like, remember like when Paris Hilton was just walking around being Paris Hilton, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone. This is engaging TV. That's true. We don't have those kind of shows anymore. We need more of that. We'll just have a 24-hour film crew. Yeah, the Brothers Yurisic show. (sighs) On a and I love it. I don't know, man. So should I give give it a a whirl? You can give it a shot if you want. I mean, you said you want to talk about something. You can can try to do this. So So I told you I watched this video the other day. about Everyone, place your bets. Is this going to land? Is it not going to land? Look, what I'm about to say, what I'm about to say, it's it's pretty controversial. It, it It might be too... Too extreme. Like, they're going to try to shut us down if I say this stuff. It's, it might be a... I, I thought maybe this would build up your anticipation, but you seem like you're getting even less Yeah, I thought I was just so lame and, like, stupid. So I was watching a video about the dead internet theory. Do you know anything about that? Oh, my God, no. You keep talking no, about it. No, because it really fucking blew my mind, dude. Okay? <laughs> you keep bringing it up to me. In the last no, listen, four days, dude, you brought up I'm gonna, so many times. I, I guarantee fucking team I'm going to blow your mind right, right now, okay? I follow a page on Instagram. Good start. Okay, Strong just, start. Just, just shut up. Just, just, just shut up. Just, 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 just shut your mouth. Just, just, just shut your mouth. Start. No, you said strong start. Start. You're such strong a liar. Strong start. All right, this page, 80s.lives. What, what? what? Okay, first off, wow. Not only is it an Instagram page, I know. what's it named? 80s.lives. Okay, and, and, and my good friend Bo follows it. I'm pretty sure it's how I saw the page in the first place my because I saw he was following Bo. it. And yeah, all they do is put... When do we get Bo on the podcast? When do we get Bo on the podcast? I don't even think he knows there is one. What was that? Was you, you did, again? What is wrong with you? You said that as if it was a punchline or something. That was your catchphrase. You're like, I don't think he knows there is one. Is that should have been a laugh? That's what you always say. Hey, what the don't hell we is have wrong a laugh track? You? Actually, do you mind? What is wrong there with you? I don't know, dude. Do, do I don't we, have my earbuds. In, so I don't know which one's the laugh track. Forget button. it. So, uh, I follow the page on Instagram, and they usually just post dumb '80s shit. Or they show something like sometimes they'll post like a behind the scenes photo of like uh, Stallone on Rambo. It's all it's usually '80s stuff. If the, the name of the the, the the page didn't give that to you, mm-hmm. and I had my phone here next to me the other day and we were talking about Fonce Nation, one of our recent episodes. Yes. And the next day I go on my yeah, Instagram page, post. but it's on that page, which isn't an ad. It's not supposed to be, it's an actual page that people post. Like it's supposed to be run by an actual thing. You go to their website. It's an actual like website where you can buy a memorabilia and shit. But for some reason they posted this one final destination, final destination thing. The very next day after we happened to be talking about it, that seemed weird, but I thought, eh, whatever, it's a coincidence. I but saw a YouTube video actually. Uh, I think it was Joe Blow Horror Originals. I think mm-hmm. they t- literally two days ago they did a retrospective of the first three films and I remember thinking I saw yesterday I was like the first three makes sense when there's like 12 there's five just do the first five and call yeah, it a exactly. day fucking uh, train of thought train of thought train of thought Chattanooga Choo Choo yeah you can keep doing that for a second while I think for a second yeah, everyone just keep doing taco songs for the rest of the episode so the dead internet theory thing was saying how if they everything they can track of the the data, whatever the fuck, tracking users on the internet. It's like, I can't think of the, the right terms of who, what they can actually track of usage and, and what goes on the activity on the internet. 80% of, uh, they can only confirm that 20% of it's people. Like they know for a fact that it's people. So using you're saying it. 80% of traffic on the internet is potential They have bots. no idea what it is. It That's might be awesome. bots. It might be AI. It might be companies. Just as a, it, it could be people. They have no idea what the fuck it is. You really, you really play a video game where you go into a server and there's just bots in the servers. I mean, no, when me and Jake were play playing the fucking games. vampire game, we started realizing, like, damn, we're dominating. We're playing. We're we're really good at this game. And like, it's kind of weird how the, the 
a lot of these players in this lobby are just walking straight, not shooting. <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, those are computers. That's probably why. I know Fortnite did that for a while. PUBG was doing that. They just filled their servers with bots trying to make the numbers look better than they are. But my point is with it, though, is the Instagram thing. It, so they're saying that, like, like ads are all AI and bot generated half the time now. Like that fucking South Park thing we were watching. That's mm-hmm. a real thing with all. So, so I'm saying that this Instagram page I'm following thinks it's a real person. It's it's not. I found a bot page that's just listening to my phone and fucking dynamiting myself and everything else. I just blow your mind or not? Oh, really? Really? I don't know. Maybe you was it, the, in, it. In, uh, the lack of eloquency and how I? It spoke? might have been that. Honestly, honestly, I was kind of just like, uh huh. Yeah, you know, so you always fucking do that whenever <laughs> I talk. That's why it's so goddamn hard to talk I don't on think this it's show all the time. I it's, really it's, don't. Ninety eight percent of the time, I just like don't. You I go, never do. There's that. stories you can tell in like a storytelling way, and then I think there's the way you told it, which you were just. You notice how when you like, talk, I laugh. Even if it's not that funny, I still laugh to show how I engaged disagree. I, I just am. Think I'm really funny. How engaged you are, Robert. You're the least engaged person of all time. At least I can respond to the words you were just saying. Half the time when I finish talking, you're just staring at me like a yep. fucking newborn baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're such a piece of shit. <laughs> Take the fact that I can't form a nicely formed sentence out of the equation for a second, Take okay? the fact that I can't form a nicely formed sentence. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Look, not, don't focus on that little detail for a minute, okay? All right. Fo- try to focus on everything I okay. said So what you paper. said, you were like, so apparently there are these bots who have Instagram pages and they're data mining me and... It's also, really the scary. freakiest part, I guess this wasn't, this, I thought the detail, this is the caveat, this is why your mind wasn't blown. Right. It's an 80s page. Holy shit! No, shut up. They only post <laughs> 80s stuff. Final Destination 2, we talked about, it showed the fucking, um, no, I'm sorry, we weren't, it wasn't when we recorded the episode, now I'm going to blow your mind. Okay. <laughs> now I'm ready. Now you got me. It wasn't right, that when, first part, yeah. that was actually where you, that's when like, you were hustling me. Remember the other day? No, admit it, that's what you were doing. You yeah, were hustling me. Up. You were doing that thing where it's like, all right, I'm actually really bad at playing this game. I'm actually, let me get them invested in this. Now I'm thinking, oh, Robbie can't blow my mind. I think you've already tried and failed. So my guard's down. I go with my mind. Yeah, that's the way I always You're so operate. fucking smart, dude. Thank you. I'm glad you finally took the time yeah, to, to I understand. Yeah, I just now how smart you are. Remember the other day before we actually talked about it on the podcast, we talked about Final Destination. You said how every time we're driving, you think about the the, the logs shit. Berk. Hell yeah. yeah, man. But we had that conversation outside of it, right? Sure. It was the next day after that I saw the air. We had the conversation completely unrelated to anything. So it's an 80s page that posted a, a specifically Final Destination 2 post, which I will show it to you. The day after we talked about it, and Final Destination 2 came out in 2002. Final Destination 1.2002? Realization 1 came out in 2000, I believe. Yeah, so. okay, that seems later than that should be. So, so now you understand why that's crazy? And it's the only 80s post. It's the only post that's not 80s related. And it's specific to what we talked about the day after. And it's not. It's well removed from the 80s. And it also doesn't follow the rest of it. The, they usually post pictures like Bowie and shit. But that one's a meme. Can I be honest with you, though? Your mind's getting blown, My is mind's it not? Is you're thinking that's the turning. Same exact no, then you, spot out that you're not listening to me. <laughs> 80s laughs. I'm on their page right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, they posted this photo of Cameron Diaz from like 1997 here, and they hashtagged it 1984. So I think they're kind of all over the place. Okay, well, okay, well. <laughs> so I don't know if it's that crazy, honestly. Because it's like, yeah, right here they post a picture well, of fucking that's a Phoebe picture. Cates and. They post a photo of Phoebe Cates and Jennifer Jason Lee. Like, that makes that's, that's 80s. But then yeah. the next photo, it's that's 90s. And she's holding a GameCube, or a Game Boy Color, I mean. Okay, well, if you look at everything and you just try to... Right here, this show, I mean, that's a 90s show. I mean, there's a lot of 90s looking things on here. Okay, well, if you just hold... hold, hold Like Buffy the Vampire Slayer was 1996. So I think maybe, quite possibly, Baywatch is the 90s. So I think maybe the reason my mind wasn't blown because it wasn't... This is a picture of Leonardo DiCaprio, 1990. It starts in 1990. 93 goes all the way up to fucking 2019. Look at that. Look at that. So maybe, quite possibly, here's a picture of Giant Depp and fucking Winona Ryder for Edward hands. That's the 90s. For, That's all not really these, the 80s. for all of you who are listening, if you didn't pick up on how much we're driving home the fact that I'm an idiot, <laughs> just listen a little longer because we're really going to make sure you pick up on it. I mean, that's also the 90s. This is a picture of Pulp Fiction. That's from that's from the nineties as well. That's not really from the eighties. Picture of Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, and Macaulay Culkin. That's probably not the eighties. That's probably the nineties, based on the way Michael Jackson looks in this photo. 
Um, this is the A's. Okay, there we go. Miami Vice. That is the A's. You know, number one new show. So you got that there, Robbie. So yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, my mind is blown that for a second you almost tricked me into thinking you were hustling me. Well, hey, you said uh, you said earlier. At least you respond. At least you respond to when someone's talking. You're an actively engaged listener who responds and answers accordingly. Doesn't just stand there blankly like a newborn baby. <laughs> I'm sorry that my feelings are hurt, Alex. I need a minute to process. <laughs> Why everything. are your feelings hurt? Uh, um, I don't know. You just really, really just demonstrated how like how how small <laughs> the little slows of intelligence that occur in my mind actually happen. Is that what we're calling them? See what I mean? <laughs> You basically say, "Oh, you had this thought, Robbie. Well, let me let me show you how wrong that thought was. And if you spent more than thirty seconds thinking about that you know thought, funny? you would have realized." You know what's really funny? What's now, really funny? I don't think that's the best way of explaining what I just did. It's the only However, way of explaining what I just did. For argument's sake, okay. Listen, even though I don't think it's the best way of explaining what I just did, okay. For argument's sake, we're going to say that's what happened, okay? Okay. For argument's sake, we're going to refer to what occurred re- in reality. <laughs> No, we're going to listen here, okay? Coincidentally, <laughs> while I don't believe that's what just happened here, even remotely, that's you know actually... how you never believe you're a dick? <laughs> it's really weird how well, you never believe you're the think dick in the story. that what I just did was what you just said it was. I Naturally. will say, coincidentally, that is exactly what I was getting into a few episodes ago when I was talking about Ted Kaczynski and the way they had him come in there and they, he went in there going for a study in college thinking one thing and the other thing happened. So they were supposed to like write down their ideas of their personal yeah, yeah, yeah. thoughts, beliefs, and everything, and, and then like compare them amongst them. other students. Mm. But instead, they just had the person come in there and tear them apart, thinking how dumb they were for having that thought and really driving it home and everything. Yeah, that's what you did. Which is no, basically I, the same that, thing. Now you see, I don't agree that I did that's that. That's weird, because what you just described sounds eerily similar to <laughs> what occurred. So I don't think that I did do that at all, actually. Why but I will say that I could see how that could be damaging, and then there's maybe a real-world example of someone going to live in the woods and sending bombs everywhere. You know how the other day I said that... Um, Oh, you said this. You said I have to stop saying one thing and then immediately correcting myself. Right. You think it might have something to do with the thing which just transpired that know, occurs man. in my everyday you, you, life? You, that's that's a that lie. You might have See, tricked now me you just, into that's, just that's, acting that's that way where we have a mystery right there. See? Why? That is where we have a mystery right there. Because you said every day of your life. You're five years older than me. So now you're just openly lying saying every day of your life. Yep. There's nothing that you've done every day of your life that you can say accounted for me versus me who can say that. Yep. So again, you're so right. That's Now you're just, the whole entire argument has fallen through. All right. What I meant to say was every day of my life since I turned So why don't you say it the first time? Now you're just changing your story to fit the new narrative being set. So why wasn't your initial right, understanding just of the take story? Me away, okay? <laughs> Wait, I'm just I'm curious. guilty, okay? Why, I'm wasn't, guilty. Your na- why wasn't your initial story, you know, worded that way? Because I'm guilty. I wasn't smart enough to think ahead. I'm guilty. I fucking killed him. <laughs> Notice how at this point in the story, the, the person being interrogated is shifting his story. Now, his narrative is changing. His palms are pointed towards the ceiling, which means he's actually asking for forgiveness. He changed his body language inward because he's afraid. Those things are awesome. We got to watch more of those. Yeah, we got to do a part three. Part three, man. I, I don't know if I've told you this, but I have the biggest desire for us to do an interrogation's part three. We have a trilogy of episodes. It's something we've never done before. Okay. I mean, I guess. I think it'd be cool, but obviously not. It could be. No, First of all, it, it was I was more just taken yeah, aback no, by yeah, the... No, the weird voice. I was trying to get excited for two seconds. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me, right, yeah. <laughs> or should I ever be excited or show any enthusiasm whatsoever? You know what I think would be really good for us? I don't know. I think two things. One, don't you get the first thing first, the second thing first. I want to hear the second thing first. And if you have a third thing, then I want to hear that second. Okay. I think only okay. two things. So second thing first, second thing Why don't you just second? be traditional and do the first thing first, second thing second? All right, fine. So I'm thinking that two things. Both of them involve us hiring people, which on this current... take After crunching the numbers for this month's <laughs> earnings, <laughs> we can talk. afford to pay an employee exactly zero dollars. <laughs> And then you're and like, oh, wait, it's like, it's like, it's like a non-profit. It's like one way of putting That's it. That's a really good That's way to put it, That's a very good way of putting it. Now, usually you're thinking a non-profit <laughs> generates some kind of money. No, we're actually so much of a non-profit. There's just no <laughs> money being generated to profit from whatsoever or even cover our bottom line. We're just hemorrhaging money. <laughs> we take the term non-profit very seriously. Very, very seriously. <laughs> but I was thinking, so in our zero dollars a year salary, we should fucking... Um, you should hire two people that'd be very beneficial to us hiring for this company's growth, right? Mm-hmm. The more practical one, I'll say first, I think is uh, we try to hire like um, just someone who doesn't have a life themselves who can dedicate Ooh. to managing our lives. That'd be perfect. You know? Yeah. Like no family, no friends, 
no under no no real understanding of self, just a facade that understands business, you know, mm -hmm. and have it where they can just be like, all right, so here's your schedule. I printed you out a schedule to follow. There, you know, I don't know who can just organize and plan things for me. You know what I mean? It'd be fantastic. That'd be awesome. So we can just so so someone who's like hearing that thinks that could be cool as well. Maybe help us turn this nonprofit into a profit. Listen, you subscribe to our Patreon. That's tier five. That's tier five, man. You can be our personal assistant and run our lives for yeah, us. Yeah, tier five. I'll move on from that. Uh, the second thing, the other thing I was going to say is that <laughs> you, you want to kill me. <laughs> it's just you made it too gimmicky, bro. It's just getting so hard to function around <laughs> anybody anymore. The second thing I was going to say that we had a little sweet, we went off track there for a second to accommodate someone's fucking ego. Now that we're coming back around the circle. <laughs> Um, other person we could hire, I thought would be really funny, would be to hire a social media manager. But the why I think that'd be funny would be because there's no, because like, you just see like the, think about like you know the mm. the the Giants social media page. It's the New York mm. Football Giants, right? Mm. Football players. What do the mm. idiots they hire around the social me media team say? All right, guys, you're gonna blind rank five ice cream flavors without knowing the next mm. one. And they're like, I'm sorry, isn't this a football team? <laughs> Shouldn't are our fans who follow us interested in football? And they're like, no, I think they'd be much more interested in you guys. Not even, mm. not even essentially giving your opinion because what if you end up putting the one you like the most at five because you get left there? Like, it doesn't really show who you are. It's, just a, it's a really a blind guessing game with players from the Giants, right? Mm. So that'd be pretty funny if we had a social media manager because they, they would pitch us stuff like that and we'd be like, that's stupid. <laughs> and then they'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. They not, I mean, social media managers and marketers have no spines. They're just fucking followers mm. right they're just very good keeping their ear to the ground yeah pretty much so they're just like oh geez, you're right i'm sorry and they'd come back to something else and then they come back and like what if you guys did like uh you know um you what if we could like cut a cardboard box out and we put a bunch of sodas in there were silly straws and you like had to guess which soda you're looking at you couldn't see that you couldn't see but the camera could see like that's fucking terrible and like oh you're i'm sorry what if we do like um like uh what if you like you go around the street and you're like you're like saying like let's see who can name more Knicks players until someone stops and like that's just dumb that doesn't make that doesn't even make well, who how does that dedicate what our how does that like make people sit and say oh I should go watch their podcast and they like I I don't know and my point is we just hire someone and we're paying them so really we're we're doing them a service right we're not even getting paid but we're paying them <laughs> and we just fucking completely belittle them the whole entire time to say how terrible their ideas are say that doesn't make sense that's stupid we keep saying like you know we're not seeing the growth we want to see on the, on the social media platforms and like you're not letting me do any of the social media platforms you say everything i say is dumb <laughs> it'd be pretty fun to do see I, well you know, for two like, things oh you guys should like you i guys, have two things to say now when you're done well, like, you guys yeah. should like you know, you know what if you uh do a little like a uh, uh put why don't you guys like, take a picture like on the set saying working on happy to post a video today and that sounds dumb we're not why would, we, why would we talk about the video that way it's just we're posting people can watch when they watch it i think it'd be really funny to have someone job we just wouldn't let it actually function properly what i think is really funny is during the entire time you were doing that i was very quietly doing the joe rogan mm. i didn't hear but it i was doing it quietly so you couldn't hear it but then i realized it's been since i did that sound that no one would know what the fuck that noise <laughs> was so that's the first thing the second thing um i think it's a terrible fucking idea Why? because we're not getting paid ourselves we're going to pay someone just to make their life worse it, I understand. Hold on. Don't I you understand think, no, how on. funny it would be based on how funny it is for it to happen to me? I get no, that. Don't you think making someone's life worse would make, would make feel you better? feel better yeah. about not getting yeah. paid in the first Here's place? Here's the thing. When I when I was yelling at you for how dumb that idea is, as I said it out loud, <laughs> Wait, this I realized is a great how great it sounds. Idea. It sounds really good when you say it. When you put it that way, it sounds <laughs> fucking phenomenal. We should go with this plan. But it's, I don't like the idea of spending money when I'm not making money myself yet. That's fair. So but I mean, if you think about it, though, it's like, it'd be funny. And how about we build that assistant tool around it? True. They don't have their life as it is. But don't you think it'd be great, though, if, if someone could just say, hey, guys, you're recording. I'm like, oh, yeah, shit, we should record now. So I'd be like, oh, I guess it's time to record now. Yeah, oh, I guess I got to go fucking edit this. Honestly, it's just, again, it always comes down to why must why must we work for things we want to have? It'd be you know, so much better. Why can't things just be given to everyone, you know? <laughs> why do I have to aspire and then become something? Why can't I just be something, you know? It's just really not fair. It's, it's just not. It's just not. It's that simple. Things should be handed to you. Everyone knows that. 
Mm, see, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna give a little, little adjustment. A little pushback on that. No, 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 not pushback in the way you think. I think I mean it. I don't think that there should be. What would you? What was? Uh, what would you say before? So before you're hand really winning me basically over said your hand side of the aisle. I think it should be given to us specifically. specifically. You always I was, try to I wasn't throw everybody in the middle. Yeah. I was saying me, 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 me. That's what this whole thing's about. The whole show's about me, 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 so me. Just make me. sure we're on the same page here, and I, I want to make sure we're being completely uh, out on the open about that. Yeah, we're being completely out in the open about that. Yeah. <laughs> You know, fuck you. I don't even care how much time's left. I'm putting the microphone down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not crying. I choked you on are, my word. You're such a pussy. You're crying. <laughs> Look at him. He's crying. I'm not. Yeah, you are, dude. I'm putting the microphone down. I'm not talking for the episode. You're just a fucking prick. Wow. I wonder, I wonder how different this is going to sound from now on for the next four minutes when Robbie's not talking. Everyone's like, gosh, everything feels so... The dynamics completely shifted. I can't. It's, it's torture to my ears. Oh, my God. Now... Oh, gosh. It's like the whole entire balances of justice are just so they're just so skewed. Everything's going to shit. The entire world economy has collapsed as Robbie put his microphone down for a single second. What a monster. Now it's just left to talk and talk and talk and talk while Robbie just proves a point. He's like, I don't want to be replaced in this show, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna I'm gonna instead step aside so Alex can realize the contribution I do bring for four minutes is actually moot, and maybe it'll fucking throw me off the thing anyway. Hey, oh shit, this plan's backfired. Now I'm sweating. Now I'm freaking out. He knows the sad. And now he's back. Yes, his ass about all of that. What's that? I can barely form a sentence over here, and you're playing that fucking game on your phone <laughs> know, the entire not, time. This I'm is going half on. listening, dude. It felt so good when you pointed that out, though. Remember when uh, that one come down clip when Nick's just like playing Red Dead Redemption, and having the conversation? He's just like Nick's uh, uh, Adam's not funny, and stops just laughing, but Nick's still some of the funniest guy <laughs> in the world, even though he's not paying attention to the conversation. Yeah, it must feel feels great. good to be the king. Yeah, it must, it That's must. what I'm saying. <laughs> you want to know what it's like to be? You want to know what heaven's like? Try being God, okay? It's pretty fucking awesome up here. And uh, look at that! Wow, that was a whole two minutes just flew by. And how much? Did, how much did Robbie contribute? For for everyone listening at home, for keeping track, like, all right, that's point one. That's point one. That's point one. That's point one. And he brought up the day like time of possession. The time of possession for this conversation. <laughs> Look, Robbie, the team who wins the time of possession is usually the team who fucking wins it, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> See? Look at that. It's like fucking Laurel and Hardy. Look how, look how, look how goofy we <laughs> are together. <laughs> <coughs> Anything else you want to get off your chest there? No, I'm good. <laughs> do you think you're Laurel or do you think you're Hardy? Um, I'm the 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 one that's the punchline. That's right, that's, that's definitely how I am. Are you Abbott or Costello? Um, I'm definitely Abbott. Why? Because he's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's funny. He's the straight guy though. Everybody, t- no one quotes Abbott's lines. Everyone talks about Costello's lines. Yeah, man. So you think that you think you? I don't know, man. You got some pretty quotable stuff, and you're like. Mm. <laughs> like you brought up earlier, you're catching up. What was the my catch- line, yeah, though. Sir, you stole it. What was the catchphrase <laughs> you did earlier randomly? You said one word as if it was your as if it was your go to thing. I think your catchphrase should just be the what, what was what, what was the sassy remark actually? We're gonna go back even further. What was the sassy remark you said you were like didn't like it, didn't watch it. What was it? Uh, uh I forgot I watched it and forgot about it. So <laughs> Whatever. Really you stupid. need more catchphrases. That's what you actually need to be. I'll talk more and you talk less. But will justify the less talking with having catchphrases. What you say sounds like it has more meaning. Everyone's like, "Oh, he said it." It's you know, good. it's pretty good. Actually, that's a pretty good compromise, isn't it? Yeah. So instead of, I'm, right, so I'm gonna, actually, I had a catchphrase for a really long time. I'm gonna bring it back then. Oh, this is horrifying. No, I actually think this is a really good catchphrase. Okay. So instead of being, instead of trying to even the playing field when you act like an asshole, and then I try to try to try to attempt to compete against it and do that talking thing that you do and then you point out how bad I am at that talking thing. Right. Instead of even trying to do that, I'm just going to say back off, Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's pretty solid, man. That's actually pretty I used to say that all the time. Yeah, it was been a while. Yeah. I used to be, I used to be cooler, apparently. He used, cool. used to be pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, man, used to... Uh, and then I started smoking and now my whole life's turned upside down. Hey, that man. was me 10 years ago. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, what am I thinking? I don't know. I was doing that meme. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I mean, honestly, though, I'll say that's progress. Even though that wasn't that funny, I really, really, really thought you were going to do the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song, and I was just going to start Why crying. Why would I have done that? Because <laughs> you, you fucking said the line. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, my God. 
You said you literally just fucking. No, I did said, not. You said my whole life turned upside down. Oh yeah, I did say that. So I thought you were just gonna break out. I'm like, please, and I was literally clenching them. I'm like, God, please fucking do not start singing. Do not start singing. Do not start singing. Do not start singing. Alex, let me take a minute just sit right there. I'll yeah. tell you how I became the prince of a town. That's called what I was LA. fearful of. And then thanks. So thankfully. Since you didn't go that way, what you did do that was also stupid doesn't seem as dumb because I knew where it could have gone, you well, know? What's worse, that I could have done that or that, you know, I'm not going to say I was going to say, forget it. The train of thought is so, the, the segue of thought is so non-existent. I didn't know what the fuck I was attempting <laughs> just there. I'm just going to stop We need more I of that up. from you. We need more of that introspection when you're talking because that actually provides a lot here. <laughs> the thread of thought that connected I those two things. I didn't even that have co- thoughts that complex of realizing <laughs> what was going on. I didn't realize your grasp of reality was that strong. It has its moments. <laughs> Apparently, dude, that's awesome. The thread connecting those Holy two crap, thoughts. Holy crap, I'm a person. <laughs> or is, was, is so thin. <laughs> I, I didn't know what the fuck I was thinking. All right, well, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs>